Hey Cloud Gamers, today I'm going to talk to you about Paperspace, a virtual PC client similar to Shadow PC. However, this one has only got three data centers from what we can see, and it does have some templates for Parsec for gaming. It also has hourly pricing or some eye watering monthly pricing. So I'm going for the P5000 here, which is 78 cents an hour or $463 a month if you want the whole month, which is a little bit more expensive than Shadow of the same type of build. On top of that, you need to select storage and you do get quite a range of storage options here, but again, that price does go up quite quickly. So going similar to Shadow here using 250 gig storage is a flat fee of $10 a month. Obviously, if you're being billed hourly, you want to set that auto shut down to an hour. Uh, for snapshots, it also seems to charge you about a dollar per snapshot. And then you get your machine. So once you've got your machine, you can boot it up similar to Shadow, except this is only available on PC and Mac. There is no iOS or Android clients, so you have to do it through either the browser or through the thin client here. Don't forget to subscribe to the Cloud Gaming Extreme if you like these type of videos. So it is fairly slow to start up and then once it does start up it's not that straightforward. You have to fiddle with the resolution, you don't get to choose the Windows updates and originally I did find that the graphics drivers were quite out of date and when I did go to play a game it wouldn't let me because the drivers were so out of date so I had to manually update them. And it has only got the one CPU, and it doesn't seem to have that great a speed or threading, even though you're getting 30 gig of RAM, apparently, with this P5000. It does run really slow, in my opinion, so that CPU does kind of let it down. And considering you're paying per hour, you really don't want it to be that slow. I'm going to skip ahead here, because it does take a while to start. As you can see, the original resolution is something to be desired, and you have to kind of fiddle with the settings. It does have quite a lot of settings, but they just seem to cause more confusion than anything. At least they confused me, and I'm fairly technical. So you can't actually do it through the control panel here. You have to use the little dot that's up in the top right to get to the settings and then sort the scaling out. It's not very user friendly and as I said you can't really govern the Windows updates, it's kind of quite locked down. You do seem to get that gig internet speed though, so downloading Rainbow Six Siege here. I did get the uh, kind of capped 50 meg download from Ubisoft, but it is quite painful having to wait at least half an hour knowing that you're paying that hourly rate. So once I did manage to download the game, get all the drivers updated, no, get to have a play. Well, it took a little bit of getting used to to get the mouse settings correct, and as you can see it's still quite jerky. Even though the figures on the right here say I'm getting 100 plus frames a second, it really doesn't feel that way. And the latency is saying around 20 to 30. Uh, it really doesn't feel like it. The, the mouse latency just feels absolutely horrible and kind of almost gives you motion sickness. It looks okay. Definitely not the kind of quality that I would expect from the amount of RAM and the graphics card that's available here. But it is playable, so if you aren't able to use Shadow or GeForce Now or any of the other cloud gaming platforms, this is a potential option for you. But at 78 cents an hour on top of the kind of flat $11 a month, this could get quite expensive quite quickly, so to put it into comparison with Shadow's $15 a month, the $0.78 cents will get you around 6 hours for the equivalent price with the storage. So you will have to manage that or know that you are going to spend quite a lot more money to play your games on here. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Cloud Gaming Extreme for more coverage of cloud gaming platforms. And I'll see you next time.